Hello and welcome to the deployment sessions Windows 8 apps with me Simon May. In this session we're going to be having a look at sideloading an Apex package using Windows Intune so that we can support Windows RT devices. Because we're doing some sideloading here, the first thing that you want to do is create yourself an application. You can use zipapp.co.uk in order to be able to create an app in about 10 minutes. Once you've got that, we'll need to set some things up inside of Windows Intune to allow us to manage Windows RT devices. Here I am signed into my Windows Intune account and I'm just going to go down to the administration task pane on the left hand side and then I'm going to select mobile device management. Windows RT devices are considered mobile devices. So the first thing that we need to do is set up our mobile device management authority. If you click this link here underneath learn about there's full instructions on how to do the setup. I'm not going to do that inside this video but you'll see that I've already done it and the set mobile device management authority link for me is greyed out. Now we're going to go into Windows RT management and the first thing that we can do is set a more friendly DNS name for our Windows Intune tenant so that our users can find it say with their actual uh, work email addresses. In this case I've set up fakeurl.info to allow that to happen although in fact I haven't actually made all of the required changes and we aren't going to use fakeurl.info later on. I'm now going to add in a side loading key. You can get these from the volume licensing uh, website and you'll have to obviously pay for those keys in order to be able to use them. I'm going to activate a hundred of them and you'll notice that I actually entered some fake details there so with that key I won't be able to deploy applications but in, for the case of creating this video it allows me to get through things. I'm now going to add a code signing certificate. That is the certificate that I use to sign the apps that I want to go and deploy to my Windows RT devices that are signed with that particular certificate. Once that code signing certificate is added into my Windows Intune account, I'm then ready to move on to the next stage. Just before we do though, it's worth pointing out that that particular code signing certificate doesn't have to pre-exist on our Windows RT devices. Windows Intune is going to push that certificate down onto the devices for us. Now we need to go and create the app inside of Windows Intune. So back in our uh, management portal here we're going to go up to the system overview and then down to select software and then we're going to select the managed software node. Now we want to go along to add software. You can see that we've already got some software deployed here out to our devices but we're going to add in a completely new side loaded application. Once I click the add software button that actually um, downloads a special wizard onto my machine to allow me to upload my app package. I'm going to allow the uh, application to run right now and then the app is going to start and require me to sign in to my Windows Intune account. I'll just type in my sign in details and password So when we're signed in, the wizard will actually start and we get the usual starting summary page. The first thing that we need to do is make a decision over how we want to deploy the software. Do we want to use a software installer or do we want to link to an external location such as the Windows Store? In this case, we want to use a software installer and we're going to select a Windows App X package as the software installer. Once we've done that, we'll click Next and we can start to provide some information about the software. I'm going to give the software some uh, publisher details, I'm going to give it a description and I can also place it into any particular categories. I think I'm going to go for books and reference in this case. We'll click next again which will take us through to the summary screen and I'll click on the upload button which will then upload my Apex files into the, my Windows Intune tenant. I'll actually be able to see how much space I'm using up inside of my Windows Intune account later on as well. Now that that's done, let's go back into our Windows Intune console and have a quick look at uh, where that application has appeared. First off, we're going to need to refresh this view, so we're going to click Manage Software again. Having done that, we can now see our Apex package at the bottom here. That name is not particularly friendly, not something that I think my users want to see, so I'm just going to go and hit the Edit button, or in fact, actually, right-click and uh, select Edit, both of which will work. that's then going to launch the wizard that we just saw to upload that package again. This time though it's going to be used to just change details about the particular application that we're working with. 
once we've signed back in we'll go through and I'm just going to change the name of this package to mean make something uh, a little bit more sense to people so remove that dot apex from the end there now that that's been saved back into our Windows Intune account I'm going to go just back to the manage software node to refresh that application and then I'm going to go across to manage deployment so that we can start to deploy this application out to our end users in this case I'm going to select my all users collection here I could make that a little bit more narrow and define actual groups for my particular users but in this case the all users group works great for me I'm going to say next move through that wizard I then get to decide what kind of um, approval we need to have here and what is going to happen on the installation we actually want to make it an available installation so that it appears within our company portal that's all the Windows Intune setup done so let's move over to our Windows RT device and get that enrolled into our Windows Intune tenant so you can see we're on the start screen of our Windows RT device I'm going to type company apps in and that's going to launch the company applications control panel item for me after this point we'll accept the UAC prompt and I'm going to type in my email address for my end user in this case I'm actually using the onmicrosoft.com default email address next I need to type in uh, some more information and I'm going to type in the name enrollmentsmanagedmicrosoft.com which is actually the enrollment server that you would normally use to uh, point some DNS entries to so that users don't need to know that complicated on Microsoft.com address. We'll just click on the link there at the end of this wizard which will launch Internet Explorer. That actually opens up the view in Windows Store button for the company portal. We're then going to launch the Windows Store to the company portal installation page and we'll click on install. That's now going to download onto this Windows RT device the company portal application completely customized for the organization that we're dealing with here um, I think in this case called fake URL limited once that's installed on my device I can go and launch that portal and I'll be asked to sign in again with the same credentials that Alice has, has entered now a couple of times and once we've completed the sign-in process we'll be taken to our company portal which is completely customized for our in individual organization now I can see the application that I deployed out to my end users and we can go ahead and start the install process obviously enrollment only needs to be done once users can install as many apps as they're made available through the company portal here I can see my TechNet UK uh, tile just there I can also go into all categories and see the books and reference category which also contains my Technet UK item we published that through Windows Intune earlier or I can go to all apps and see my Technet UK item I'm just going to go back to the main portal page and go and click Technet UK and then hit install from within that location the app is now going to download onto my Windows RT device along with the code signing certificate that goes along with my Intune tenant it's then going to appear on my start screen there we go and then I'm going to get a little toast notification just to allow me to know if I'm not focused on my start screen that the application installation has completed I'm now going to just go and tap into uh, Technet UK just to start up that app and you can see that the app launches and is fully delivered down to my Windows RT device hopefully this has been a useful video on how to uh, deploy Windows Store applications as Apex packages down through the process of sideloading using Windows Intune to a Windows RT device please go and download the evaluations of Windows Server 2012 and of System Center Configuration Manager 2012 SP1 so that you can give the various things that we show you in the deployment sessions a bit of a try Thanks very much for watching.